really put out to try and weaken some of these players. They are just looking to go in as a full fine. They've still got their wall for post-plant, and there's the opening duel with Kesnip falling. They need to find an answer on site. Hold on that little bit longer, and look at that. Two quick kills coming through as players are dancing around the site, bypassing each other. Artist picks up another a side angle for Angel, but it only keeps it into even numbers. 2v2, wall up, and now they've got to rush. They've got to take this fight, and Artist just won't go down. He's bought enough time. The defuse is undeniable, and the kill. Presence. They want to kill left. to get them into that site, but now time's starting to become an issue, they've got to get a move on. Oh, that's not the start they were looking for. Xiao already swinging onto Rumpa, but Mazino has been able to trade. Ready. He's back to back. All right. Blink and you miss it. Everybody on the side of FPX dies within a second. And Artu. And we're seeing right now, it doesn't appear to be the case now. They know that Artis is here. They know he can't get out, and he's gone. Good clearance. And actually, Delzik has found another. Catching Zipan as well. Will they expect the third player to be here? Angel's actually rotated in that little bit earlier after being spotted in mid, but it does seem like they're very aware of this check, and Xiao can only do so much. They've got that res now to bring them right back online. They need more than just oh. a one kill, and they'll find them! Behind that, was there any information, or did Saigetsu just decide to take a shot at the perfect timing? He has also been having a very solid game. Kesnit has been able to get one, but even still at the back of this site, he's just causing them issues! Even takes a third with him. And now only the Stingers remain. Still that pit online that okay. could be dangerous, and delzik has got another kill. Welcome there it is. The pit's going to be used, and this is the right moment. The more deadly he becomes by the second. The timing, though, has gone desperately wrong. He's still going to spot out Xiao. Too easy off the back of the SMG, and Artis has no choice but to fade away and save. Okay, oh, well, get that space instead. The afterplant is something that crew are fantastic in when we saw them previously, and now Nags can almost sit back and wait for the fight. He's gonna connect, but I think it was only a leg shot. All the defuse was tapped, but the kills are coming through. Hunter's Fury to confirm they're not on it. And we reset again, more passive. It could have been, but they went out. They wanted to take some of these fights, and now they're forced into the angle, Zipan. They're gonna look to push down into this B side. As I said, it's, they had so much success there prior, but the spam from Xiao has actually managed to completely remove Kesnit from this scenario. Now they do manage to get themselves to oh! bar, but again, Xiao just swinging. These sheriff shots have been nasty. He had a few whiffs earlier, but instead, he's already managed to force back another. A 3v2 in favor of FPX right now. And it's Xiao then peeking and getting that off to fire and, and fall back. It's given Artis the angle, but now, oh, he's actually gotten him! through the pit. Nags has to get on there. They tap the defuse. They could be on it and they're not. Still safe. The spike is going to go down. So will the player planting, but they've now got the time on their side. They still need to win the duels with disadvantages. Kesnit, he has his ult. More importantly, he has the Vandal. We've lost Klaus, the pistol player, for a bit of information, but the trade is there with Artis gone. They're holding on strong, stronger than expected. It's only Angel left. Zeno gonna be in trouble here with the Hunter's Fury, catching most of them. I mean, they're all stuck inside these little angles. On the way in, Angel falls right away. Artis only good for one. It looks like we might have a strong spot to play from for crew. At least equalizing, but the spike's down in the open. Oh, what a need! Oh, he's gone down, and it leaves Mazzino alone. We saw him pull off a 1v4, but as the scene before, two shouldn't be too difficult for Saigatsu. Are they actually going to play around the wall? They've gone aggressive. The flashbang through, but it doesn't catch Delzik. Even still, the trade back, but Mazzino keeps the advantage in their favor. Viper wall saving them a little bit almost. What a shot from Xiao. The right click was working. Mazzino is able to return it and take that third kill. Close. and try to stack up, try to use numbers to your advantage. Unfortunately, that means that FPX should be able to get a plant in here, although they're under a lot of pressure. The wall's broken oh. open! Xiao has just broken open the round! What a beautiful double! Yeah, they relied on Mazzino's wall to maybe try and push them into position. A nice couple of kills, though. Swinging back almost instantly. This round is looking far more competitive than maybe it should do, and the timing has worked out wonderfully for Nags. It's gonna go down into the one versus one. Saigetsu with a huge weapon advantage here, and only five bullets left to try and get something done with the Spectre. He's gonna have to switch over to the Sheriff, but the shot's just not connecting. Needs one to that head, and it's going the other direction. Just three HP in event. Yes, seem to be storming the castle at just the right time. Actually, a right coming out. They've gone straight into the spawn, and that duel was not expected. That's completely caught them off guard, and every fight is going into FPX's favor. Nags eventually answers back.
It's one, but there's four more, three more players to fight. Swarming the site. They still need to find those duels, carve out a bit of map control for themselves, and little do they know how many players are waiting or the dangers that are there. The op okay. has picked another. Uh, this is starting to look pretty poor. FBX need to get a duel on their side. Pop the ultimate to try and bridge the gap slightly, but short of a big fight here and now, this is going to be tough to hold on to. The thing is the weaponry. There's a huge disadvantage at the moment. Oh, oh crew! Well, Artis just turns it back into their favor. It's left all on to Mazzino. He gets the timing almost. It was shaky. But oh, that fight on mid is won by Nags. Of course it is. Of course. What a fantastic flick. And well, the man that we say is going to get a little bit. Oh, that's just mean. To rhythm that, is now being mean. killed twice in a single round. I and like how Kesner steals it as well. Up, quadruple up. Every kill is theirs. My God. Yeah. Just catching every single fight. Very least. And now, a utility taken out of Artis's hand. No operator for him. No tour de force anymore. He's got to wait. And he won't be able to survive long enough to get it back Ooh. online. Nags on a tear, taking head after headshot. And oh, he's going to drop down below. He's heard the steps. He knows at this point they've got to sprint. They've got to run halfway already. Sagetsu needs to round the corner. And, and he's been defused. Will need to handle this one. Great utility destruction. And a sh nice shot from Kesnet. It's not been his best game, but I don't. I think if they take the map, he's not going to mind. But Zeno is normally so solid from those positions, but he's isolated out. The early fight that benefited them so much quickly diminished. And again, there's nothing to really get them back into this position. They've been able to take out Sputo. Kesner's just going. His teammates not particularly close behind. In fact, they're going in one by one. Just picked apart. It's not what we expected to see from Crew, especially after the last couple of rounds. And while Nags, he's now just trying to hold on to that operator, bring something through with him. And instead, he chooses damage to the res as well. That Nags is now tagged desperately low, just needing to try and clear this aggressive position from the IGL. Bear in mind, the rest are already looking to try and wrap him from behind. But Angel is just doing absolutely everything. He's finally gone down. But look at Saigetsu. This is where he decides to pounce. This is beautiful. I mean, his teammates need to hold on, though, because the angle, it isn't great. Now he's having to speed it up. The wall going down gives him the angle. The 1v1 that it comes down to, but the wall is blocking him off. He needs to sprint as fast as can be, and this time, Klaus faces soul crushing. From Crew's perspective, Kesden, he's had a tough game so far, but that's tough. That is so much tougher. He got seized. He got naded. He got snake bit. Oh, wow, that is a toxic round coming out of FBX Mags. Uh, Two kills. This is winnable. They're trying to fight back into it. The spike only now going down plenty of time, but it's still a two versus three. The numbers for FPX and the time on their side. The first kill is Artis's, and Delzic won't last too much longer.